Hey guys, what's going on? You already know what's going on because you clicked that thumbnail. But today we're going to be working on my LU Cab Canopy Camper, hopefully building some cabinets for it. That being said, before we dive into doing this today, be sure you check out my merch store, grab a t-shirt, some patches, some window stickers, some decals, some stuff like that, help support what we're doing here. Hopefully a bunch of new stuff will be coming out here in February, February, March time frame. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for all the support. Here we go. Let's dive in. Okay guys, so if you watched my last video on the camper, you will know that I built a floor for the inside. We'll take a look at that. A laminate floor. It's holding up pretty good. Been in here for about a month now. It is January 31st now that I'm filming this. Um, the fridge is pretty solid back there. And uh, now what we need to do is build some cabinets that hold the fridge and retain it right there. Still being able to take it out if I need to, but that shoot all the way down this side and shoot all the way down this side. The fridge is almost perfectly sized for what I'm trying to do here. So, totally flying by the seat of my pants on this. Um, I know Goose Gear makes some awesome stuff for it, but I really don't want to pay that, and I have some leftover parts and just some wood laying around, and I kind of just want to see what I can make up here, and uh, hopefully the, the rest of the parts from OK Four Wheel Drive will be showing up for the camper, and we'll be f figuring out this build a little bit more in detail here. So, all right, let's jump in. So it's a balmy day here in Utah, balmy 41 degrees. It's the warmest it's been in a couple weeks. So I figured today would be a really good day. The moth, kind of work on this, just kind of DIY it. First things first, I'm gonna try and clean up all of this dirt that's everywhere, kind of clean up some of the seals. I haven't been doing any like upkeep on this over the last uh, couple weeks since I've been on a couple trips. So I like this stuff, crud cleaner, crud cutter. I like it. So we're gonna kind of degrease everything, clean everything up a little bit. Then when it's shiny, then we'll get to building. Okay, so the way that I figured this out, math, if I take the handles off and I leave it at its current placement, I have 11 and a quarter inches on either side of the fridge, not including the handles. Let's talk about it. This is totally fine by the seat of my pants, so you're gonna watch me build it. So, right here, ID, inside diameter, nine inches right there to the end of that track. This bracket and wall is about one inch, okay? Which is good because on that side, on this side, I don't really care about removing the handles from, from the fridge. I mean, it's kind of going to live back here, and it has. I don't need it for any other capacity, so if I remove the handles, it is what it is. But, right there, I've centered the fridge, math, got 11 and a quarter inches from this wall to that wall. And, my walls can hug because the doors on the fridge open right there. This is your insulation. So, it's not going to rub. I've already got this kind of place where I want it so I can remove the lids if I need to. If you want to know more about this fridge, go check out the video for that. I'll link it.
and like every time I try to uh, work on something and build something my own, there's always an issue. So, check it out. There is this nice little slot everywhere where the bolts will enter and if you have the right size, it will retain. Cool. Well, there's none along the back. That's an issue. So, I'm having to bore one. I'm using a 5 8 bit and it's actually working better than I was expecting. So, here we go again. Doing anything to aluminum destroys whatever bit you try to use at Y. Okay, well, of course, camera always dies whenever I successfully do it. Um, aluminum destroys your bit. I don't know if you know that, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to do the other side. But I got through, you just have to punch through far enough so that you get past that little lip so you can get your bolt in there. Problem solved but annoying nonetheless. The prices of wood are stupid high. Still not spending as much money on building these cabinets. Uh, I, not even a quarter of what I would if I bought goose gear. Uh, but but $39 for a piece of 7, 7 sixteenths of uh, plywood, too damn much. Anyways, back to building this day two. I wanted to get a handle to see uh, if I liked kind of the way that I'm gonna open this. I got some um, hinges and some mounting brackets so I can tack the walls in. Uh, I'm excited. This is going to be good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can finish it up today. Today is substantially colder than it was yesterday, um, and it is snowing in the mountains. But first, I needed to stop at Canes. If you've never had Canes before, you're missing out. I love Canes. Okay, guys. So I'm getting a little bit later start on it today than what I wanted. Um, I needed to go to Home Depot and get some parts and then I was like, oh, I don't have a saw. So I need a saw because I'm going to be making a lot of straight cuts and that's going to be a heck of a lot easier than using the jigsaw for everything. So went back to my buddy's house and got that. I got my Mr. Buddy heater going because it's colder today. Um, anyways, I don't know how you guys are when you work on projects like this and I figure if you're watching this video. Or this video series you're probably like me and you like to build stuff instead of pay exuberant amounts of money for other people to build stuff and make a profit off of it regardless here it is here is my plan so this is a little trim that goes around the side this is a basic rough estimate and this is kind of a side view this is the window i got this i just got plywood because um, I really didn't want to spend uh, a bunch of money on the Birch OSB when I'm sure this build on the inside here is going to be changing a few times. So step one, get everything that I possibly can out of here, including the fridge. Um, and then we'll kind of evaluate later if I do need to take the handles off and whatnot. But the goal is going to be to put basic cabinets on here with top opening uh, drawers on everything. Currently, I am not going to do a side one, even though yes, I do know my compressor is in there and I know electrical is over there and eventually they will be opening from the side, but I'd like to get this done and over and I think that doing it this way is gonna be the most uh, beneficial. Basic things that I got, there are three things. I got a couple sets of these little tiny, um, yeah, these little guys, little tiny hinges. A couple sets of these. These are just angle brackets. And a couple of these handles. Size. 
57, this is the top, so from this side. 57 long on the top by 10 inches wide. And then the side, we're gonna be at 54 and a quarter uh, long, and then 19 high. Now I just need to replicate that. All right, this is kind of annoying to cut out. It fit all of that. Let's see. Ah. Boom. Right against the insulation. Perfect. Perfect. Time to sand everything. Fit it. Time to mount everything. I am closed up in my camper right now because night has fallen and it's cold. Uh, now everything's just gonna be getting this at the right angles and whatnot, and then uh, getting everything down to a T. So let's go. You can see that. I actually had to take this door off so that I could get the, the drill and the impact back there. Yeah. This right here, I'll just take a grinder and grind that off. That one's in. That one's in. That one's in hidden. So, this is this is about where the fridge comes about right here so this won't be seen so that's good um mr buddy here's doing this job and that is really solid Alright, so it's done. Eventually I would like this side to swing, but the problem is, is this little locking mechanism. And eventually batteries and whatnot will permanently live in there. Um, but, I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. Alright, this is the speed wrap. Speed round here. This is fitted, cut. I don't need to cut it anymore. Hopefully. Okay, so. This side's done. Cool. And there's that one. And there's that one. I'm glad I had that little idea. Because now I can put a little divider in the middle. I'll call it. I do, however, think that there's a bow in the 2x4. Because these were cut straight. Um, and when they stand up, they are almost touching. But as they go down, <laughs> you can see my fingers there. 
and as they go down you can see more of my finger and then it comes back up and it pinches <laughs> so I think this uh, 2 by 4 is bowed a little bit I could probably remedy that by uh, putting a kind of a joist across you can see it supports my body weight I can stand on it just fine if I need to uh, you know hang Christmas lights up here in the top of my camper or something <laughs> so uh, this is dope this is super cool I don't know if I'm going to, you know, put uh, kind of a, maybe a different kind of this on top or if I'm just going to spray paint it all black. No idea. We'll see kind of how that goes. But the last thing that I do need to do on this side is I need to put the L brackets on there, um, these guys. This one, like I said, has to be done from the inside, um, just in a place where I can get my drill. So it's probably going to have to be right there. Last step, take a grinder to every protruding screw <laughs> with a flat disc. All right, guys, we are done for now. Um, functionally, we're done. Now more aesthetics need to be done, but uh, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I'm gonna have to touch it up a little bit, like all things, but uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. And let me know, let me, <coughs> let me know if this is worth your time and money. Um, tools aside, I probably spent, I had a couple 2x4s laying around, but those are $7 each. And then the plywood was uh, $39 and all the hardware. So I'm about $60 into this and about four hours. Hmm. Plus yesterday, five and a half. Five and a half hours and s let's just call it 70 bucks. Uh, let me know if you think that that's more worth it than Goose Gear 800 to, you know, all things included, about $2,500 in, and you still have to assemble it. Uh, you step up in, and uh, got my insulation on the back there, but uh, we've got this side. I still need to get two more handles like I did over here. Uh, remember, this side doesn't open. This is a long box, opens up pretty good. You can see inside there, cool. Still get down to my air pump, all that. I like the little handle there. This side doesn't open, uh, although it will eventually. I need to go over that again with the sander, not tonight. Got those floor L brackets, L brackets, cool. Then this side, again, no handles but we've got two doors that open independently. Still can get down there to the other box and my electrical. Cool. And I'll close just like that and there still is that gap. I wasn't able to fix it yet. So I probably will get a two by four and uh, wedge it right there to uh, push these together. See how it gets bigger. So, yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, like I showed you before, I can easily, I mean, the truck is bouncing and uh, I can walk over here and I can do the same. So let me know what you think. Uh, I'm really, really excited. 